and in this video I'm going to show you how you can add a payment method to your iPhone. Now it doesn't matter if you use it for purchases on the App Store, for subscriptions on Apple Music or anything like that, you need to have some kind of payment method ready. Now it is pretty simple to do because all you have to do is to open up these settings and scroll all the way to the top until you see your name at the top. If you don't even have it, then you have to log in with your Apple ID or create a brand new one. Anyways, just click on that and I want you to click on a payment and shipping. So for me, it says none because I don't have any available. So this is what we are going to solve now, right? So just click on that. It's going to wait a bit. So it has to like load up. And once we get inside, we have some options on which things you can add. So it can be the Apple Pay, meaning that you just set up a card uh, like you're going to use to pay with your phone or online. But chances are that you're likely going to choose a credit or debit card. Or you can even choose mobile phone because it is quite possible that you're going to be able to use a mobile phone and the credit that you have on your carrier for the payments. The carrier has to support it, so you have to check it out on your own, but chances are that this is going to work for you as well. But most likely what you're going to add is a credit or a debit card. So as you are in here, what you have to do is to type in the number, exp expiration date, and the security code. So you can type it in manually when you click on the number, you're going to get to the keyboard and you can type it in, or you can use the camera feature and simply scan the card as it is. So just click on that and you have to position the card in the frame. So what I'm going to do right now is exactly that. So I'm going to do it like this, make sure that it focuses properly. So I just read all the information and you can see that it just went through <clears throat> like that. So I'm going to add like more uh, stuff in here just so you can read it through everything. The expiration date looks like I'm going to have to like type it in manually on my own, which is fine. Like this, as well as the security code. So I'm going to have to type it in manually like this. Once I'm done, I'm going to hit done. It's going to move over to the next section, to the next page like this. And the payment method is basically ready. So this is the card which I have added. So I can now add another payment method or I can add a different shipping address because, you know, when you're purchasing something online, you just click the purchase with Apple, your address is automatically there. So you want to make sure that you add a proper shipping address where you purchase with that card, you know that the shipping address that they see is your proper one. So this is something to pay attention to as well. So you can see right now it still says none, but I still have, I already have some payments. So when I come back to the main section payment, yeah, it's showing me that I have the MasterCard in here. And a practical example is when you go to the App Store, for example, and you decide to buy some kind of app. I don't know, I'm just going to go to the apps section and find something which is paid. So, I don't know, like top free apps. And there are going to be probably paid apps as well somewhere along in here. <clears throat> so, if you find any paid application, you're going to be able to, like, use your payment method with it. So, let me just... I don't know, this solid diary, whatever it is. So you just click on the price at the top like this, and you're going to be able to like choose, or you can see that it's just going to be a one-time purchase for this amount of price. You don't get to choose the payment method because you only have one, but it actually lets you do that. Without the payment method, you wouldn't be able to double-click to pay because you don't have any payment method to go with. So yeah, this is what you have to do about it. This is how you can add an actual payment method to your Apple ID account. Now it doesn't matter if you use or download books or pay for subscriptions. As I said, now you have it tied to your Apple ID. So I'm going to wrap up the video right now. If you want to know more, for example, about an App Store, definitely click the link down below in the description and join my free educational platform where I have, for example, the full guide for App Store, like every single thing you could ever imagine. You can well, watch it, wanted. watch it in here and get through all of the settings and all of the stuff you didn't probably even know that there is there. So everything is explained. Definitely go ahead and join it for free. I'm going to wait for you inside. For now, thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later in the next tutorial.